Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Jeff, shake it off. Who the hell just slapped us? Jeff, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? It's a kink. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. A murder mystery for Halloween. So far so good, my first day on the job. I totally forgot- oh, I totally forgot my name tag. Isn't ready yet. I should make one. I just sign my name here. Oh, are you- <laughs> Just because I think it's gonna have some funny repercussions. <laughs> I don't think I could show my face around here again if I rolled that- YOU BASTARDS! YOU SON OF A BITCH! Let's try again. I'll just sign my name here. No! Oh, come on. Jeff, did I spell that right? Yes, you did. Why are you asking me? Well, passengers can read my scribble. Fair enough, it's a little... Eh, that's definitely a J, but I understand a little weird bit up here. I guess because it's an uppercase? Yeah, because it's an uppercase. <clears throat> I love that they actually thought about the fact that you might put dick in there. <laughs> Dining car. Oh, um, I, am I nervous? Is this... Uh, is this first day on the job jitters? Apparently so. I can't believe I'm playing this. <laughs> Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Jeff, shake it off. Who the hell just slapped us? Jeff, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? It's a kink. M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, 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 quite all right myself, though, feeling a little bit, uh, bittersweet. Is everything all right? Is that because you're a sweetie? Not trying to flirt with the conductor. Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me in the Marge... Merid... Mar... Margie... Mer Mirage? Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to... S I don't know what that one is. Locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Quite. Enough of my quibble. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Is murder on the menu? Menu added to your inventory. I can open my in inventory anytime I want to view my item. the items I received. I should look over the menu more carefully. Okay, so teach me the basics of examining an object. Okay. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on this train is a microwave. Really? That's it? I, I mean, I know a train tends to be a small place, but you can have better than that. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Oh, I didn't actually look. Chili dog, ramen, and chicken... Porto Blooch? Uh. Kogu's This one. And ding ding ding! Glad you can read the menu, okay? Well, yeah. A little about the vessel. This is a state of the art, high speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. So we turn GLaDOS into a train instead of a potato, gotcha. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. And this train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. 
Wait, so this train is specifically built and used for events, yet for some reason, you only have a microwave on board for cooking? What the ass backwards is that? I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. I have a feeling this is gonna turn literal. God damn it, it's Clue. <laughs> Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Uh, I'll make- uh, I can't afford to lose this job. You sure can't. The severance pay is lousy. <laughs> Wait, what? The doors to the Maritrin Express are opening. All aboard. Here we go. <laughs> this is actually a really cute little game. Hey. Wow. Oh, God. So many characters are going to have to think up voices. I have watched some Sonic shows and stuff, but... Memory of voices is not good with those because that was a really long time ago for me uh, Let's I'm gonna do my best. Wow. This train is incredible. What fascinating tech <laughs> You're right tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this I'm keeping this in my strain my head. It's gonna be impossible. What did you all expect? You know, I always go out all out for my birthday party the train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Huh, a girl after my own heart. Possibly, literally. <laughs> Calm down there, rogue. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Uh, thought that was metaphorical. No, you are literally a girl after my heart. Possibly, literally. I need to keep my kidneys in check. It was a pin, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a twenty, a teeny tiny pin? <laughs> well, Knuckles over here lose ugh, whatever. <laughs> what cast, cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Jeff. You're sweating through your uniform. Hello, Sonic. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, radio friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Considering I'm pretty sure you're about to be dead, yeah, I ought to be friendly. <laughs> Why can't I be normal for one second? Oh, Jesus Christ, you got some serious confidence issues, dude. <laughs> uh, Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's rules to get food. Eh, uh, sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be going around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Jeff, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to, talk with, and I'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Why'd you say click? Okay. Is this how this game is played, then? Why aren't you an interesting little character? May I have your ticket, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see... A princess... Is... Mm. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? No, you cannot get under those royal robes. Trust me on that one. She seems a little prissy anyways. If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> a separate what? <laughs> just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer my birthday cake from this world more than my own, and so I admit I am a bit excited. Oh, oh, don't, you don't say, well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Oh, why can I not win with this group? <laughs> because there is something oddly wrong with the entirety of this group. I can talk with you? Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Jeff, those are for our guests, you know. Train. Train. Be sure Jeff only gets one of those if... Jeff only gets one of those if they ask. Um. 
He can't speak. Did the arm just kind of nod? Yes, it did just kind of nod, and I'm fearful. The last time I was on a train with the sentient AI in control, we got derailed and I nearly got pounded on by a robot. <laughs> Actually, a train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. It knows you're lying. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that if to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty too. I just got denied by a freaking arm. Hello. Shadow. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can get we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get you, get for you. That stare. Ugh, so cold. Jeff, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jackets? I'd be expected to go, be told to go pound sand if I asked my boss to go get me my jackets. <laughs> eh, no, no, I'm good. Interesting. What about you? Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Just a little bit. I mean, his eyes are closed, so of course he's avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a little bit? I can't quite hear you. I misplaced my ticket! I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Uh, don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. What do you mean peeled for his ticket? Tails, do you got his ticket? Why is... Oh. Hello. Hey, found it. What? Sticking out the napkin holder. Hey. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return it to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Thanks. How? I want to be concerned with how the hell you... How? Well, we just might have what you need. Jeff, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Here's your ticket. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, that's my ticket. Thank you so much. Thanks so much to you both. God, my brain malfunctioned for a second there. Was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, oh Jeff here, Jeff here would have would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Um. <laughs> Wait. Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Your boss. That's who. You're both all right in my book. Thanks for the assistance. I'm pretty sure he would death roll your ass back into wherever the one chick's from. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. A uh, leg of lamb? Something along those lines? How about you? I haven't met you yet. Can we please see your ticket? Of, of course. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. It's a... There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? Uh, what? He's looking right at me. I studied ninjutsu. I... My brain saw ninjutsu and immediately was like, Spinjutsu? No, wrong, wrong franchise. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu, that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Just a bit. Okay, who's next? Let's fill in here. Hello, Knuckles. Howdy, could I please have your ticket? Thank you, why is it crumpled? I think that's ticket. I really don't know. I really don't want to argue with this guy. He got anger issues. And 
big spikes on his hands. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Fair enough, maybe I won't have to do your voice often. Can I get your ticket, youngin? There we go. Right here, sir. God, why did I have to do a high-pitched voice? Every time I have to do a high-pitched voice, it destroys my freaking throat. Nasuki and freaking... Oh, God. Siori's voice absolutely destroyed my voice when I played through DDLC+. Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own Sparkle Glinton. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any... That can melt any jaded heart. That can melt any jaded heart. I read that correctly. I don't know what that means, though. No way. I brought my own Sparkle Glinton. Sparkle Glinton. With me, too. It's my first... It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparking good in buddies. Haha, <laughs> absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. No one on this train is normal. Ticket, please. Thank you, kind. Thank you kindly. Happen happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I couldn't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is is he is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Do you know many other blue-haired hedgehogs? With a bit of an ego problem? <laughs> I promise you an excellent stay at our, on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes, ha have fun now. Will do, thanks. I'm so glad he's gonna be dead. Let's talk to the birthday girl. Can I please get you get the birthday girl's tickets? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. I I should just say, if I mix up voices or don't quite get the same voice I originally chose for them, just know that I couldn't give a damn less. <laughs> there is so many characters and I regret doing voices already. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your bir birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good bargain? Fair enough. And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Do people get murdered around you often? I mean, I know they do it around me, but usually that's because I'm the one doing the killing. <laughs> who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good, a good true crime podcast. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss... Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? Oh, it's a key. That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. I feel like most doors that she should have access to would already be unlocked. And if she can't normally get through them, she probably shouldn't be through them. The birthday girl gets a the birthday key? It's practically tradition. Very useful. Will... We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Okay. The one I'm most interested in the group. Rogue. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward. Let me fetch it for you. There we go. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Oh, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Oh no, trusting you are. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the the driver's compartments for departure. 
Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Margin Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. Someone's gonna die within the first 20 seconds of me being in charge. To be honest, this group seems plain capable on their own. Oh, absolutely. That's why one of them are gonna die so quickly. <laughs> and train. Assistant Jeff is... If... Assist Jeff if they need any help, won't you? Hmm. Well, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent. I'll be off. You know what thought just entered my mind? Has he ever asked the train for a hand if you catch train drift? <laughs> I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Jeff here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Hey. I just had a thought. Normally, like they don't wear clothes, but the fact that there is outfits and that they are, and that she is having them wear them, means that 90% of the time in a bunch of the games, they're usually naked, right? Am I losing my mind on that one? I mean, I guess technically, if you have fur, are you naked or are you clothed all the time? And clothes are just like optional accessories that you can put on. I don't know. That's a question of. A biologist I think and maybe I don't know <laughs> lore cards they that must be the details of their motives uh, I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud otherwise people would know the murderers intentions now on to the nitty-gritty for the murder mystery game one of you will be murdered for the and the rest suspects Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Damn. <laughs> of course. But the girl makes rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you will be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You will be here in the dining car. In the... To boot oh god my brain's breaking a little bit knuckles you are the sheriff around these parts you will fi will find you in the saloon got it rogue you are the business tycoon and blaze you are a titan of industry both in the casino well that what's the difference there is none hmm sounds fun Victor, you are the butcher, and Espo, the poets, both found in the library. Hear that, Espo? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of book. Maybe we make a tower of books or something. Shadow, you are the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me. The journalist reporter. I'll be mosaying around with everyone. Did he get all that? I think. As I was listening in, hope that. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, but includes an interrogate. 
I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! And so the murder mystery begins. Uh, ah, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Um, I have goosebumps. Same! Ha, ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be murdered. Convenient. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scooping, scoping the place. So you two have lore armor, is what you're saying. This, this is why there's always a neutral party. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. Wait, if she made this, she, there's no way... If she made all this and organized all this, wouldn't she already know? Or have some idea? I feel like there's an unfair advantage going on here. <laughs> what do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has a role to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know... Do you know what their characters' motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows about the person who received them. Interesting. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flick, flickering flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that my lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. So, like, just about every other journalist in existence. Not gonna lie, that kinda sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The hell is that? The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? Ah! I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah! No! Holy crap, did we just derail? Tails, you're both awake. Yeah, it seems the train has slowed down considerably. How exhilarating! I know the production on this train is astounding. It's definitely more intense than I expected. I have a feeling this is more real than you predicted. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. The train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Jeff, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer? You left it behind. Let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. <laughs> I'll search over here. Uh, I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? Uh, I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. And play through the tutorial. Check out everything you can around the closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Here we go. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex Flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. How interesting. Sounds like hell. Something's always high in the trash. Let's check. <laughs> As Detective McQueen can attest, yes, something's probably always hiding in the trash, and some asshole always makes him dig through it. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, the, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? I wish I knew that. Shelf. 
The shelf is blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Jeff, look closely at this. Interesting thing. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. Yeah, it is pretty dinged up. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. That's a weird thing to put into your inventory. Okay, found everything I can in this room. Let's interrogate Amy. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Through the metal train floor into what is presumably tracks flying underneath us if we aren't actually crashed. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Talk. Find any clues yet? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I already found everything, so start interrogating. Hmm. Don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a bit more first? Okay, never mind. What am I missing? Wait a minute, I think I see something. There we go. What's this? What's this, a rod? What is that? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. Not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like, sp I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick has been added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What's up with the Phoenix Wright style music and interrogation? What? You accuse me on my own birthday? Does thou not s s forget the line? <laughs> How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Tend to escape? Murdered a suspect? Tempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Jeff and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Mm. Show me evidence I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Jeff, let, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence in your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our arguments to fight back. Alright, so let's do it. What prudes Amy tr tempted to escape the dying car closet? I'm thinking the shelf. What? Some damage on a so shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, tell us what now. Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well, hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crashing, crushing bank, band keys. He never loses. Like, like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Ah, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do and find your argument? Right? Let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow this train of thought, eh, train of thought, and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. What the fuck? Okay. What is happening right now? You got more than enough rings, but I'm just confused as to what the hell is going on. Jeff's dream gear. Sure, the shelf, sure the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Uh, well, I, I believe, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? This. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage?
No, but whatever was on the end definitely cut up. There we go. More than enough rings. There we go. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer? Eh! This isn't a stick at all, is it? It is actually the handle of your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out, out of the way, but you failed. The handle of your hammer snapped right off. Eh. Eh. It, it, it's as you both said. I tried to get us out of here with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I feared it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry for the situation, and you thought Ro Rogue was a decent, well-looking person. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a de detective and I'm able... I dabble as as a mechanic. Let's let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten this here, a little elbow of grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Holy crap. Wait, is that? Holy crap. It can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did, did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. I don't think he's acting. Sonic? Eh, but he's numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? And... Hands on his wrists, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic? Oh no. No, no. I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Jeff. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are as well taken care of. Are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave the care to you, Jeff, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride? <laughs> I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Sonic is actually dead. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Holy crap, this is good. <laughs> Saloon car. Oh, look at this place. Amy, Amy, are you here? I looked around, I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do we put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap a lot in... In a lot of strange spots. He's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? 
Need more evidence to figure out what's going on. It's my job to keep an eye on you. The train rules say you gotta stay and watch after everyone. You just wanna hang around with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. Why is everyone great at reading people but me? As I, as I said, the best detectives have, have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? <laughs> the last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Our proper detective with about, without baggage. This is true. Yeah, vermin. What are y'all doing in my saloon? See, he's trying hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have none to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's always he's agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Jeff, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were caught while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Alright, let's do it. What the hell? Okay. I expected this to be like a one episode thing, but considering there seems to be a place for each card. So, Sonic's dead. We now moved on to Knuckles. We have at least one, two, three, four more places to search through and fill out. Plus the captain's cabin. Holy hell, this is good. Like, really freaking good. I'm actually loving this. Okay, right now I'm going to end this episode of Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog off here. If, you, if you're interested in seeing more and possibly learning who murdered Sonic along the way, then there's going to be a playlist down in the description where you can watch all future episodes of this. As well, all amongst the channel, at this point definitely all amongst the channel, there will be a bunch of Spooktober episodes going on. Creepy, Halloween-y stuff going on all over the channel and a bunch of different games. I... I thought this would be a little scarier, maybe a little bloodier, but it's still a murder mystery and that still fits the spookier attire, I'd say. And just in general, who doesn't love a good murder mystery during a creepy time of the year? But yeah, for right now, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. If you did, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and that'd be good to be one. I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye!